All right, ladies and gentlemen, the seven star Terra Water Dawn Dozo raid is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to solo this raid using Belly Bolt. All right, so I like to show the entire fight. That way you can see how to do the raid successfully. And I already put out a guide a sp with a spicy pick in the form of Sinistra. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the comments below. But I figured Belly Bolt might be a better consistent pick for this fight. And to start out the fight, Reflect is going to be a great option to throw up on the field. So Reflect, absolutely want to use here, just to bulk Belly Bolt out right away. And from here, I'm going to go for two Chilling Waters and three Acid Sprays. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just to get the stats down a bit on Don Dozo. This will, the Chilling Water will help out for the late game of the fight. Just getting that attack down. Thankfully, Yawn didn't touch me. I don't think we really need something like Parabolic Charge in this fight. It's not like we can take advantage of Electric Seed. And I actually am running Metronome due to the fact that, I don't know. I guess I could run Shell Bell, but I thought Metronome might be a good option for late game sweeping. So I'm gonna use one more Chilling Water, like I said. And then I'm going to go for an Acid Spray on the following turn. And still some of the Terra. Oh, sorry about that. Notification there. Wave Crash. I'm going to go for a Parabolic Charge on the following turn. Unless I need to use Reflect, I need to look and see. Okay. Let me look, actually. I have it for two more turns, so definitely need to use Parabolic Charge here. That gives me a decent amount of health back. And I can alternate between the Acid Spray. Mm -hmm. Might even get me to a Terra phase here soon. Alright, let's see if we get to the Shield phase on Dondozo as well. That might be good. So I'm going to go for Reflect on this turn. I guess I could have Terra, but it's more cool to Terra when you're attacking, right? Am I right? <laughs> the Reflect will be really significant to help bulk out Belly Bolt for the fight. Yeah, the shields are up. Perfect. Let's see, does it remove ne negative effects from itself? It does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for... Terra and Chilling Water, why not? Whatever. It's whatever, you know. I mean, I guess I could have just waited Terra, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. It's kind of going to take time regardless. Might as well just do it now. It's not as flashy, but at least I'm throwing some damage, I suppose. Okay. Wave Crash. Please don't crit me. That would be actually... That would be the only downside, I suppose, if that occurred. Okay, I'm going for the chilly water. Chilling water, excuse me. Lowering the attack. And I'm gonna go for chilling water one more turn. Might have to go for a heal turn on the following. A heal cheer, excuse me, on the following turn. You know what? I, I think I might live and be able to go off a parabolic charge. This is the one scenario where I'm like, well, maybe I should have waited the Terra. But it might not really matter too much. I might get lucky here. Being a little ambitious. Alright, I'm gonna go for Parabolic Charge now. I think I can live, as long as I don't get crit. Oh, wait, did it use Curse? And I missed it? Maybe that's what happened. Alright, that fully heals me, so that's nice. I think I need to go for another Reflect here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I have one more turn. Acid Spray time then. And then I'll go for another Reflect. Alright, this is looking pretty solid though, I would say. Get that Acid Spray off, and then Reflect, and then... Maybe even another Chilling Water for good merit. 
But it might not be necessary. I could probably just start going for a parabolic charge. Okay, reflect this back up. Crit. Still doesn't do that much. I'm gonna go for another acid spray here. I don't know, maybe it's a speed tie. Because I thought prior to this that it was always faster than me. But there's some turns where I'm hitting it first, it seems. Okay, acid spray, and now I'm gonna go for another parabolic charge to get my health back up. And I might just use it for the rest of the fight. Hopefully I don't get crit though. That would kind of be. Alright. Let's go, let's get that health back. Yeah. I was almost like paranoid that I was going to get attacked twice for some reason. But that doesn't really happen until towards the end of the fight. Maybe I should use Chilling Water though to reduce its attack a bit because that part of the phase could be... Okay, yeah. I'm going to use Chilling Water here. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to lower its attack down a bit. Nice. Get that attack back down. And then I'll use it again. I want to be able to survive two wave crashes in a row if I don't have Reflect Up by chance. Let me see how many turns of Reflect I have here. Yeah, see here's like a double right now. So with Reflect I can tank that relatively good. But yeah, let me see. Two more turns, so I should take advantage of it and go for Chilling Water. That'll help out. And then I think I'm gonna go for a parabolic charge. Ooh, the earthquake. Doesn't do a lot though with the minus attack. I'm gonna go for a parabolic charge here so I can heal up. And then I can probably just parabolic charge maybe for the rest of the fight, potentially. Let's see. Breaking through the shield. Maybe I should use Reflect on the following turn. Let's see. Can I take these wave crashes? Yeah, actually relatively good. So I think I can just go for Parabolic Charge for the rest of the fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pretty... I feel like this will be a pretty consistent way to beat Don Dozo. I'm sure occasionally you'll get crit, and it might cost you. But I don't even have really good raid partners here, I feel like. There's definitely better options if you got Intimidate users. I should be faster now because of Curse. So, it shouldn't be able to one-shot me. I mean, between its two attacks, I should be able to live, I guess is what I'm saying. So now, that is GG, and if this helped you out at all, Please hit that like button, consider subscribing for more Pokemon content, and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the Sand Squad is getting stronger each and every day. Good morning, evening, afternoon, we're tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one. And that's another successful Don Dozo raid.